Well, it's 5.30. And all the public works meeting to order. Um, we'll go quick roll call. Uh, older person born. Is he online? Here. Okay. Uh, older person Perella? Here. Older person Salazar? Here. Older person Savaglio? Is Marcus online? Is oh, no Mark, no Marcus. Okay, all righty. Okay, well, we'll start out with the pledge of allegiance. Pledge of allegiance. All righty. Uh, Start out with 2.1, approval of minutes from May 11th. Motion to approve. I'll second. Okay, motion has been made by Grazia, seconded by Amanda. Uh, any discussion on those minutes? Okay, all those, in all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye, the minutes are approved. 3.1, resolution number 12-2021, 2122, May 17th, 2021, document 4.6, a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute the second amendment to the management services agreement between the city of Sheboygan and EOS Recreation LLC regarding Quarry Park. Uh, Joe, oh, sorry about that. Hang on a second. There you go. Thank you. Okay. So, um, since 2013, we've, we've um, leased out Quarry Park um, to a private vendor. And in 2016, um, we actually, um, uh, Mayor Matt Vandersteen sought out someone in town. So, and then I met with him, his Mike, um, Mike Miller, he owns the EOS store. So he's been running it, he accepted, he took it and took it on and it's, it's been great to work with someone in the city, he's been doing a great job. He's put a lot of investment into it. Uh, every year he tries to use, uh, if you've ever seen it, new inflatables on the water. He's tried to change them out, make it more interesting, more fun. He's got a great computer system for, for signing people in. Um, really be able to keep track of where people are coming from. A lot of people from out of the city. A lot of visitors, it's, it's amazing. Um, so I've been just kind of doing a one year Hey Thomas, can we can we update this one? We haven't really talked about doing any changes lately. And Thomas, uh, with his wisdom, said, "Joe, let's why don't we update? You know, like four years, and and I know if we ever need to make changes, it's easy enough to do at the end of the season." So um, that was a great uh, request on his part. So we're actually requesting to make an amendment, a second amendment, um, to continue this relationship, this agreement. Um, his operation of Quarry Park through 2024. Well, I think it's a great idea just because I, I think, you know, to go back and forth every year to have to read when you're just basically doing the same thing and going over it this way you can, so uh, I really think it's good. Um, anyone else have any comments? I just ask that, you know, with his collecting the data of who's coming in, it, I think that would be really helpful information for us to see sort of Maybe not specifically this committee, but maybe tourism and planning would be interested in seeing how many out-of-towners are coming and kind of seeing that data at the end of each season. Little report that at yeah. the end of the year. I think Great. that would be super helpful. To get and he's done that a few times to Marina Parks and Forestry, so I'll make sure that gets all the way to the committee here. Great. Thank you. Okay. okay. Yeah, I also was thinking the... Um, I, I, it would be nice to survey the public to know what they think about the service. I mean, I understand that we are happy about the service, right? Right, yeah. Uh, however, it would be nice to have some, some sort of uh, feedback from customers, basically. From users or from? From users, from users. From users I, okay. I don't know how we could get that, but I don't know if we could, for example, uh, include it in the survey somehow, the annual survey, I don't know. I'm just okay. thinking loud about, it would be nice to have some sort of uh, <coughs> confirmation that public is enjoying it the way it is run right now. And what they really like, 
improvements that could be made. Correct. I think that's a great idea. He might yeah. even have something like mm -hmm. that, but sure. that wouldn't only help him, that would help the city to improve the area. Right, yeah. Okay, I'll pass that along to him too. Thank you. Yes, the only other question that I have too is, is how is, with the um, new uh, plan for uh, for the Quarry Park, um, uh, how is that going to is that going to affect with anything with this? Is this you know how is that going to work out with, with, as we move forward with that? Right, and I think that was probably one of the reasons I had in my head. Let's go year to year for a while, but uh -huh. now that we've done this, and we know it's going to take some time. We 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 know we have a basis of what we want to do, but we still know it's going to take time for for anything that we do. It's going to take yeah. grants. It's going to take uh, capital funds. It's you know it's going to take working together. Uh, with Mike also, I, I feel better now that we're, you know, we're going, going to continue. We're going to try to get some of the low hanging fruit, you know, look at some of the trails, um, things like that. But, but I feel safe that we can go ahead and do a longer project with them. And then if any changes are needed, I mean, he's going to be on board too. And we're going to work together to either amend or make a new agreement. Okay. Any other comments? Do I hear a motion? Sure, yeah, I move a motion. Yeah. Second. Motion made by Amanda, seconded by Grazia. Uh, any other discussion on this? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved, thank you. Thank you. Okay, 3.2, resolution 13-21-22, May 17th, 2021, document 4.7 a resolution authorizing the mayor to sign the reinstatement and third amendment to purchase and sale agreement, further extending several dates in the previous agreement, authorized pursuant to the resolution 12-19-20 for the purchase of land from the Union Pacific Railroad. Mr. Chair, this is Chad Pelishek. Yes, Chad. So this is the third agreement uh, amending the purchase and sale agreement that the city has between ourselves and Union Pacific to purchase railroad right away from Pennsylvania Avenue down to Union Avenue and then adjacent to Indiana Avenue. Those of you that have been involved with the Capital Improvements Commission process understand that we talked about this. Um, we, there's a difference of uh, value in what we believe we should be paying and what the railroad believes we should pay. Um, we're optimistic that we're going to get to a point where both parties are going to agree and the purchase will move forward, but we don't want the agreement that's in place to fall, up, to fall off now because we're in the middle of negotiation. So we're requesting you approve this document to continue the third amendment to the agreement and allow the city attorney's office to continue to um, work with the railroad to hopefully get to a resolution. Okay, thank you, Chad. Uh, yeah, I think this is a great opportunity. If we can get this thing to go through, I mean, uh, uh, I'm all for this. This 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 trail will, will really really enhance the other trails that are in town, and I hope that we can get this going. Mr. Yeah. Chairman, go ahead, Jim. Uh, motion to approve. I'll Mo second. Motion is made by Jim, seconded by Amanda. Uh, any other discussion on this? I'm just wondering, so if, if then the negotiation doesn't end by October 28, we will re-amend. I mean, we will re-recommend to the council, right? We will either bring it back for a fourth agreement, a fourth amendment, or we will terminate it depending on which direction it ends up going. Yes. Thank you. And also, in, in the... Um, uh, it, the verbiage is used interchangeably, right away and purchase. But, uh, I apologize for my ignorance on this. Can you explain the difference? I mean, is that actually a purchase or, or we are purchasing the right away? Or they are the same thing? They're the same thing. We're pur purchasing the right away where the railroad tracks used to be that's owned by Union Pacific. Mm -hmm. So they call, they call their area the right away, the land that the parcels that they own is, is right away where the trail, where the train tracks used to go through, and that's what we would be purchasing as part of this deal. Thank you. I, I love the project as well, so I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Any other comments? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? 
Chair votes aye, that is approved. Okay. 3.3, resolution 14, 2021-22, May 17th, 2021, document 4.8, a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute the license to use the U.S. Coast Guard real property to place signs along the Sheboygan River. Mike. Good evening, council members. Um, so with this la very lengthy 18-page document actually coming out from the uh, United States Coast Guard, this has been a project that I've been working on for about almost close to four months. And obviously with the military <laughs> involvement and stuff like that and getting this big 18 page document put together, all this really entails really is uh, placing two four mile an hour speed limit signs um, on the Coast Guard pier head, which is just a navigational aid in front of the Coast Guard station. Um, uh, this document was given to David and then we referred this to Thomas and he thoroughly vetted it and um, so all this is is really it, it's it's a it's a no cost agreement or anything like that for the city. Um, it it lasts for approximately ten years, I believe. So um, all we're doing is kind of seeking approval from the from the council and uh, to uh, go forward with this license agreement. Okay. Any any questions or anything? Like that? I have a question, Chair. Go ahead. I, I was just curious, just for fun, I read it, and um, I mean, the whole thing, just to understand where it was going to, but um, I was wondering about, so, so we didn't have an agreement before, right? This is the first time we actually have, a, we are a licensee for the Coast Guard area. Correct, so all this is really gives us, there are many places we were, where we could put the speed limit sign, it's just the, the area that we're gonna be putting it, entering and exiting the, the Sheboygan River system, it just seems the best area. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> when, 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 when I was, I thought this was gonna be you know, a, a very quick process, but no, like you say, three or four months later, all this document and uh, th that's what happened. So we're actually end, end, gonna end up placing two uh, speed limit signs and this is, doesn't have to go through anything because it's gonna be on city property um, near the boat landing. So we're gonna catch, we're gonna be alerting the boaters, entering and exit, exiting the river system, and also at the boat ramps. There's currently also one that's, I believe on the North Pier, at the end of the North Pier, which boaters coming in from Lake Michigan, entering the harbor system, they're alerted also about the four mile an hour speed limit sign. There is a, actually a code, I think it dates back to like 1975, that for all the waterways at the Sheboygan, um, that we created the municipal code, uh, that through the waterways and in the harbor areas um, that there is a established speed limit. We just don't really make it known to people, so. Thank you. Well, I, all I can say is I, I applaud your, your diligence on this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, motion to approve. Okay, motion is made. Second. By, made, made by Jim, seconded by Grazia. Any other discussion on this? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. That is approved. Uh, next meeting date is June 15th, 2021. As soon as we Mr. Have Chairman, I, I, Mr. Chairman, I have a possible conflict that day. I'm gonna be out of town, but I think I will be back in time for the 5.30 meeting. If I'm not, I will let you and, uh, uh, I will let you know in, in, in dawn in plenty of time. Great, thanks, Jim. That's appreciate that. Um, do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. We are adjourned. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.